Alola everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a QR rental team and how to also use a QR rental team that you can find online to use in the game when it comes to battling online or locally or in friendly competitions. But well, this is just a really awesome feature that the Pokemon company has implemented in this game. So without further ado, let's get right into this guide on how to do it. So here we go. We are at the Pokemon Global Link website. Now the first thing that we're gonna be doing is seeing how we can create a QR code team. So step one is make sure you have six Pokemon of your choice registered into your online battle box in the game. They have to be in your battle box in the game. So then you click on your profile, not the QR rental team option. So we're going to load up the profile here. And then we're going to see this tab right here, QR rental team. So we're going to click that right over there. It's going to bring us over here and it says foreign battle team. So this box actually identifies what I have in a battle box right over here. These these six Pokemon. So we got our uh, Feromosa, we got Tapu Fini, we got Muck, Drampa, Raichu, and Ninetales. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit register. And my QR rental team is going to be called Philly Beats You Team, team 1. And brief message... This team is bad. And I'm going to set it for a singles battle. So then I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm. So and then I have the option of making it public on this. Uh, for some reason, it's a little too low here, but there it is. I have the option to make it public right there. So I'm going to go ahead and make it public. So let that load up. And there we go. It is uh, It's pretty much set to go. My QR rental team is right over here. And then people can view it as well. It'll show up on the menu, I believe, on the QR site in the Pokemon Global link. And there it is. Philly beats you. Team 1. My description, this team is bad. And then it can tell me how many battles I won with this team, how many battles I participated in. So you can judge the worth or value of a team by that. And then you're just going to hit the display, the QR code. And just like that, you're going to scan this QR code into your game. And there you go. You got the Philly beats you horrible battle team in the game. Now, the second thing is you guys might want to be asking, how am I going to exactly find a QR team or QR rental team to you? So we are back at the Pokemon Global Link website again. This time we're going to hit QR rental teams for this part of the tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to QR rental team search. So it should bring us to a menu. So then we have this right here, the battle format. So if you want to look for a singles team, or you want to look for a doubles team, you want to check out the Pokemon over there, the moves, the abilities, and items. I'm going to go ahead and just stick with double and search for these conditions, and let's see what shows up exactly. Oh, so this looks pretty cool. Oh, this guy, I, it did top 8 mid-season showdown tournament in Italy and 1800 plus on the battle spot. Have fun. Okay, this looks fun to use. Why don't we go ahead and uh, grab this team? So we're going to click on this guy's team. It's kind of just like how my team showed up. So you have this whole entire page. And then we're going to hit display the QR code. And there we have it. Uh, there is a QR code. Now let's go see exactly how to do it within the game itself. So I'm going to pop up the game in the background over here. And let's get right into that. So here we are in the game. We are in the Festival Plaza. So I'm going to go ahead and pop up battle. And we're going to go into link battle then. And I'm going to pick the doubles battle, which makes the most sense. Oh, not link battle. My bad. What I meant to say is I'm going to pick the battle spot. That's what I'm going to do because I'm not going to be battling anyone close by. So visit the battle spot. But this can work in link battles as well. But to show you on this purpose, I'm going to be using the online feature. So we're going to go into a free battle. Why not? This also works in the competitive battles or ranking battles too. So then I'm going to go into my double battles right over here. Special Pokemon allowed or special Pokemon banned. I'm going to get special Pokemon banned when I pick that. And then it's going to have my team one. It's going to have my party and it's going to have the scan a QR code option. So what you're then going to do is hit the scan QR code. So there we go. I have the QR code on screen from this one we selected on the site. It says the data has been scanned. So I'm going to go ahead and click on and see what happens. 
Oh, and just like that, guys, just like that, we were able to get the Marowak, the Porygon, Garchomp, Tapu Lele, Celestelia, and the Gastrodon, just like the website says. So I'm going to pop open the website so you guys can take a look at that. And there is the team that we selected from this guy's QR code. So just basically search the QR codes, display it, and there you go as well to get it. Now, if you want to be a nice person and you're distributing your team, I suggest giving a link or the URL address where to find this team so people don't have to just search for it. So that's that's pretty much it, guys, uh, for the tutorial. Uh, hope you guys do enjoy this. If you like this video, please smash that like button as it does go a long way when you like a video and it can show up in other people's boxes so other people can get the help from this and i'm gonna go ahead and get into a battle here so again thank you for watching the video my name is philly beats you and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out